There are two types of old people in this world. The ones who can retire and the ones who can't. The ones who can retire are traveling the world and eating wagyu steak. Or they stay at home and do gardening, like my dad. The ones that can't retire have to cut their spending, get a part-time job, and worry about how they're going to live for the next 20 to 30 years of their lives. Nobody wants to retire poor, it's just that they don't know how to retire rich. Well today, I'm going to break it down for you so you guys can see that it's not impossible to retire with a million dollars on a middle class income. It can be pretty easy. So if you honestly just want to save more money or you just need a reason to tell your wife to spend less money, then keep watching. So and the first thing that you need to do is treat retirement like a marathon and not like a jog. Marathon runners want to run 26 miles in a certain amount of time. Joggers, they just want to run whenever they feel like it with no set distance and no set speed. So if you were going to run a marathon, you would plan out everything first. If you want to run a marathon in 10 hours, then you'd have to run 2.6 miles every hour. If you want to run a marathon in 5 hours, then you'd have to run 5.2 miles every hour. Or 1 mile for every 10 and a half minutes. Now, a 10 minute mile isn't too bad, right? That's what you need to do for retirement. You need to know exactly how much you need to save every year and at every stage of your life. And after doing some research, to my surprise, most people actually do treat retirement like a marathon. In the sense that they'd never plan to run a marathon. Ever. In their life. Here's the deal, I'm fat. But little do they know that they're in a marathon right now. And if they want a good retirement, they have to finish the marathon. No matter how long it takes. So, and to figure out how much money you need to save every year, you just need to listen to me for the next five minutes. I can show you guys how I calculate it, but chances are you probably won't do it anyways. And so, it's probably just better if I tell you. Number one, you cannot save a million dollars without investing. Number two, if you are investing, then invest in indexes. Number three, use a spreadsheet with the links below to figure out how much money you need to save right now. So if you were making the median income of a middle class employee, then you'd be making around $34,015 per year. With that money, at the tax, you'd be left with around $50,000, depending on your state. So with $50,000, what if you could save $10,000 a year? Well, let's see how much money you'd have in 20 or 30 years. So let's say that you currently have no money saved up, but you know that you can save $10,000 a year, at a compound interest rate of 9.7%. The reason why I picked 9.7% is because the S&P has averaged around 10.75% in the past 30 years. I wanted to be conservative, so I dropped it down a point to 9.7%. So if you put these numbers in, you can see in that you would make a million dollars in 25 years. Uh, in 25 years, you can make a million dollars. Your total investment would have been in $250,000. In 30 years, you'd have $1.7 million. Uh, and in 35 years, you'd have $2.7 million. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, that's, that's a lot of money. Now, what if you can't save $10,000 a year? Well, how about $8,000 a year? If you save $8,000 a year at a compound interest rate of 9.7%, you would have a million dollars in 27 years. Uh, 27 years. Now, is $8,000 a year too much? Well, how about $6,000 a year? If you save $6,000 a year at a 9.7% interest rate, then you'd make a million dollars in 30 years. Uh, in 30 years, you would have put in $180,000 and you would have $1.02 million. Uh, that's pretty good. And in 35 years, if you're young enough, you're gonna have $1.6 million. Now, what if $6,000 a year is still too much? Well, how about $3,000 a year? Or saving $1,000 a year? Uh, no, okay, you cannot save $1,000 a year and expect to retire with a million dollars. You can't save $1,000 a year and expect to have anything after retirement. Even if the number was $1,000 a year, I'm sure that there'd be some people out there who'd say that $1,000 a year is too much to save. If you can relate, then you're probably a girl. But wait, this video is sponsored by iTrust Capital.
Did you guys know that you guys had to pay taxes on your crypto gains? However, there is one way and only one way that you guys do not have to pay taxes on your crypto gains. And that is to open a Roth IRA. But the thing is, most Roth IRAs do not allow you to buy and sell cryptos. And those that do are very, very expensive. But not iTrust Capital. Business Insider ranked iTrust Capital as the number one crypto retirement account for low fees. So if you currently don't have a Roth IRA, then you should, okay? You definitely should because crypto now is gonna be exploding within the next decade and you do not wanna pay taxes on those gains. So sign up for iTrust Capital today and get $100 worth of free Bitcoin when you use my link below. Thank you very much and now back to the video. You need to start saving seriously and the lowest you can save per year is $6,000. And realistically, it is not that hard. Uh, and I'll show you why. If you take $6,000 a year times 52 weeks in a year times five work days per week, that means that you would need to save $23.07 for every work day. Now, is that a lot of money? Maybe, maybe not. But uh, it's not impossible to save up. According to a Pew Research, the median middle class income is around $74,015. So if you make $74,015 per year, times 52 weeks in a year, and times 40 hours of work in one week, then you would make an average of $35 and 59 cents per hour. And if you take $23.07 divided by $35.59, that means that it would take you around 39 minutes to make $23.07. Exactly the amount of money that you would need to save $6,000 a year. So you can think of it this way. Every day that you go to work, you take out 39 minutes to save for your retirement. Everything else is your money, but the first 39 minutes is money saved for your retirement. If you look at it like that, it's not too bad, right? Now, what if you tell me, Bon, I don't make $74,000 a year. Well, according to CNBC, the middle class income ranges from $50,641 to $135,042. So if we take $50,641 and convert it to an hourly wage, then you can expect an average hourly wage of $24.34 per hour. That means that you would only need to spend 57 minutes every day to save $23.10 per day, which is the exact amount that you need to save $6,000 a year. So if you just dedicate the first hour of your workday to your retirement, then you should be able to make a million dollars over the next 30 years. The second thing you need to do is to take action. Just do it! But before you guys go out and start opening trading accounts and start investing, you guys need to know what to open and what to buy. Not all trading accounts are the same, and if you buy the wrong ones, then it can be very, very costly. Most investments have some form of tax, which can eat up 15 to 30% of your investments. The only account that doesn't have taxes is a Roth IRA. A Roth IRA allows you to put after-tax money into the account, and when you are 59 and a half, you can take that money out tax-free. However, there are some limitations. You can only put $6,000 if you are under the age of 50, and you can put $7,000 if you are over the age of 50. There is an income limit though. If you are single and you make more than $129,000 a year, then you cannot put in the full $6,000. If you are married and you make more than $204,000 a year, then you cannot put the full $6,000 in. You can open a Roth IRA on Webull if you want to buy stocks and indexes. Or if you're interested in crypto, then you can open up a Roth IRA in iTrust Capital, which is a sponsor of this video. So if you invest your money in a Roth, then what you see here is exactly the amount of money that you will get. But if you have a million dollars in your 401k, you do not have access to a million dollars because that money is taxed when you take it out. 
The third thing you guys need to do is to set up an automatic deposit into your Roth IRA. You guys need to take money out and invest it before you spend your check because chances are if you don't then you're just gonna spend all of it and you won't have any to invest. Alright guys, well thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.